crisis came to life with a broken water main that city officials tell us they became aware of late Sunday, a break that city crews have been searching for. And ever since today, the Coast Guard flew one of their choppers through a hard to reach area on the island, hoping to discover the source. Tonight, the city believes they may have pinpointed an area in Flower Bluff. And late this afternoon, I spoke with Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo about this water crisis, beginning with where crews stand right now as far as finding what the mayor and the city manager agree are calling a needle in a haystack. What results has this yielded so far? I mean, it's been nearly uh, 48 hours. Until the came down, there haven't been any results. And, and that's the, um, the urgency of this. And they've not found anything, and they've seen... Um, They've gotten, you know, some leads, if you will, but nothing that, that has that has proven to be the source of, you know, our issues. So they continue. They continue to work around the but clock. But how is this acceptable at this point? I mean, there are cities out there and, you know, there are cities out there that have the updated technology that could pinpoint a water main break and therefore they could go ahead and get this situation wrapped up. There isn't right now. We don't we don't have it. And um, I think that the, tech, the technology that, that would have made things different in our scenario today is something that we're obviously learning from, the fact that we don't have it. Um, and that's going to have to change moving forward um, because this is unprecedented. How did we get to this point? Because we didn't spend money to upgrade? 1,800 miles. That's a lot, a lot of um, pipeline um, to, to, to be looking to looking to or, or looking for, but we have to do everything in our power. Uh, all city resources, all hands are on deck. Moving forward, you can bet that this leadership is going to change that as well. We know there's been a run on bottled water. Can't find bottled water anywhere. Mm. Peter Zanoni was talking about distribution centers opening today where people could go get free water. Um, I don't know, maybe I did, I missed this, but is that happening? It, it is virtually almost impossible to get water. We are trying, we're working, just like everyone in the of the state. Uh, we reach out to the state uh, department of emergency management they cannot send us water like they normally would have they are just asking for patience and and we continue to work towards solutions everyone's working around the clock um, and that's what we're going to keep doing as for getting bottled water here mayor guajardo tells me she is working with grocery stores and distributors doing whatever she can to get water though it's a tough commodity right now now, from water to shelter, earlier tonight, the city opening a 24-hour emergency warming shelter at the Cal Allen FEMA Dome for seniors, families, anyone really in need. They'll take people until they reach capacity. It's 24 hours. It closes Saturday morning. It's at 4001 Wildcat Drive. And if you need a ride there, you can call 361-826-CITY for help.